Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me and my family from three and a half years ago when we sold literally everything we owned our house our companies our cars everything and we went all into bitcoin and started traveling the world now three years later still traveling the world coming to you guys from alicante spain in today's video we are going to take a look at the bitcoin chart i'm going to show you an hourly chart i'm going to show you a three-day chart i'm going to show you a monthly chart yes also taking a look at a scenario that a very bearish hedge fund is expecting in the next couple of months very bearish scenario i need to say but also taking a look at the other side of the medal because there is also a hedge fund that is now exchanging 30 percent of their gold stack into a bitcoin fund taking a look at some strange bitcoin pairs at the moment bitcoin paired to the peso bitcoin paired to the real bitcoin paired to the turkish lira and ending the video we're taking a look at the DeFi industry because a lot of DeFi projects have been outperforming bitcoins and i'm going to share with you what i expect this staking industry to evolve into because there is a new player entering this staking game and they are going to offer something that i really really like enjoy today's video guys Hi guys, today not a jump, just walking out of my camper van, walking around the corner because it can start raining here in Spain at the moment. So I'm not going to go too far because I don't want to get all wet. I already got wet yesterday when I needed to jump into the pool because of the 500 thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 500 thumbs ups today again guys. By just walking out of my camper van and walking onto the street, you can see how big the driveway is and how long it will take me before I will reach the main street. It is a cloudy day and as you know, we are in Spain. Today we plan to go to the beach. Yes, we planned something. And now you can see why we don't plan normally at all. Because if you plan things, you can always count on the fact that it's going to be changing your plans because of the weather or whatever but we are still probably going to go to the beach but a little bit later when the sun starts to shine talking about beaches did you read this news that you can now pay for your services on the beach in south korea so in south korea you can rent your sun beds or you can rent a jet ski or you can do all these fun stuff things on the beach and you can pay with bitcoin or ethereum or some local south korean currencies so this is really cool you can go to the beach there and just use your bitcoin to enjoy a beautiful beach day on your sun beds drinking a cocktail doing a jet ski trip and all that stuff in south korea let's see how long it will take before i can pay something with bitcoin or litecoin or ethereum here in spain or any other country we will be visiting in the next couple of months let's talk about the bitcoin price for a while if we take a look at the hourly chart this one bam on this chart guys we can see that we reached 12k and that we saw a swing to 11,500k and now we are again back around 11,800 the goal is to break this 11,800 then break 12,000 and i think the next kind of resistance is around 12,200 us dollar per bitcoin so this is when you look at the hourly chart and yes we are still walking on the driveway to the house we are staying if we zoom out to the charts and we look at this three day chart this one bam so we just just zoomed out from the hourly chart to the three day chart every candle is three days on this three day chart you can see this huge triangle multi-year triangle because we broke this triangle the next goal should be around 15k and maybe even 24k yes of course 
also in line with these Fibonacci retracements I've been telling you many times about because they are also around 13k, 16k and 24k. So all these charts are showing us the same numbers. 13k and 16k are the next cool numbers and if we even get FOMO kicking in then from 16k we could even go to 18k or 24k. I think we will have some fun months coming from now till the end of this year. So exciting times for Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. And yes, of course, we can zoom a little bit more out to the monthly chart. Then we get this result. Bam! This chart shows you this huge channel started to build from 2014 till now. And the top of this channel, guys, is around 50k to 100k, depending on when we reach this top. But the bottom of this channel is also around 7k. So that's a huge range we are moving in between. If you look at this monthly chart with this channel that has been building since 2014. So yes, we could go all the way up to 50k. But yes, we could also all go all the way down from here again to touch the bottom around 7k. Why am I sharing this chart with you guys with this channel of 7k? Because there are bears that are expecting we could even go lower than 7k. What? Did he even lower than 7k? You have been telling us we are going to go to 50k, 100k. Yes, in my honest opinion, we are going up, we are in a bull run, and I think this bull run will lead to a minimum of 100k Bitcoin price, but we could even go much higher, guys. But there are also bears in this industry, and this bear is a huge bear called Quantum Hedge. I think it's sort of an investment fund, and this Quantum Hedge bears is saying, guys, don't get too bullish, we are going to see $12,500, we are going to see even maybe 17,000 US dollars, but from that moment, we will crash all the way down to 6,000 US dollars, even maybe lower to 5,000 US dollars, because they think that this is going to happen, what I'm going to show you now on this chart. You can see on this chart what is going to happen to Ethereum, but also what is going to happen to Bitcoin if it is up to the Quantum Hedge Fund. Let's take a look at the chart, bam, this one. On the left side, you can see the Ethereum chart. On the right side, you can see the Bitcoin chart. You can see they are counting the Elliott waves. So they are counting that we see this ABC and the C correction could go all the way down to around 5K Bitcoin price. Do I believe this? No. I am not a believer of this scenario, but there are bears and there are TAs that are believing this scenario. So yes, it is always good to keep an eye on both scenarios. We can go up, we can go down. You always anticipate on both scenarios. So yes, I have some teeter or die, maybe a combination of them both, set aside around 5k US dollar. And maybe when we crash to 5k US dollar, I already have a buy order around that price. If you look at the red line, the red C line, that one even goes down to 1300 US dollar. Again, I really don't believe this is going to happen while I turn around and walk back to the house. Yes, because I need to prepare because we are going to go to the beach today, as I said. So I don't believe this chart is going to happen, but who knows? Nobody knows how high we will go. Nobody knows how low we'll go. Like the song that I often use in my videos is telling us no one knows you remember that one yeah <laughs> so no one knows how high we will go no one knows how low we will go all these charts and all these lines could make you dizzy so let's take a look at a more simplified chart i love these simplified charts this one bam this chart is shared by Willy Wu. Willy Wu, I met him a few times before. I like the guy. We had some great fun in Thailand. He's just a great analyst and I love the thing he is doing in his industry and the charts he is sharing with everybody. This very simple chart is showing you how Bitcoin has been moving since the start of Bitcoin. And you can see these green lines and these red lines going down. So we have these bull markets and we have these bear markets and you see these vertical lines. These are the halving moments. So every time you see this halving moment, you see this red circle around. This is the moment that you should have been buying in again Bitcoin because you can see what every time happens after we have been bottoming out. 
I think we have been bottoming out. That's why I don't believe we are going to see a 1,300 US dollar price again or a 5K dollar price at the moment. I think we are exactly at the beginning of this huge uptrend in Bitcoin. We are going to see the next two years. And no, Willy is not only sharing these simplified charts. He's also sharing a little bit more difficult charts like this one. Bam! Yes, this beautiful black chart with a lot of lines on it. This chart he used to share with us on his tweet to share with us that Bitcoin's dominance could be growing very fast in the near future, which would mean that the alts would lose value because people will change their alts into Bitcoin and take this Bitcoin bull run. So be aware that if you're trading at the moment, that, that the Bitcoin dominance is about to increase and when it will increase, your alts can lose value. So if you're trading alts, please always set your stop loss so that you're always in profit or have a small loss, but that you won't go wrecked, as we call it in this industry, because your alts just drop with 200%. Because we have seen alts outperforming Bitcoin hugely at the moment. We have seen Chainlink, we have seen Band doing 100% in the last 10 days. Also for these alts, the same rule as for Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum, what goes up must come down. What goes up very steeply needs to correct. And if these currencies are going up with 100%, 200%, 300%, believe me, a correction will come. And if this correction is going to come together with a Bitcoin bull run, this correction will be even steeper than you might expect so always use a stop loss if you don't know how to use a stop loss on prime xbt or bybit or binance then just send me a private message and i will try to explain to you how maybe i will even record a video on how to set a stop loss for you guys And guys, it is not only Willy and me and many other people in crypto that are expecting Bitcoin go to go up because this quantum hedge is the only hedge fund that I saw that is bearish because as the news is stating, many other hedge fund managers are even now exchanging 30% of their gold stack into Bitcoins. So even these fund managers now expect that gold to have topped out around 2K and that now Bitcoin is going to do the same run. So they are even transferring 30% of their gold stack now into a Bitcoin fund. So they will take this Bitcoin bull run. These are official fund managers that are responsible for, for funds that are worth billions of dollars. If they are going to exchange gold into Bitcoin, many other people in the world, many other funds in the world will follow. And if only 5% of the whole gold value goes into Bitcoin worldwide, you do the calculation what would happen to the Bitcoin price. The cool thing about Bitcoin is that it already reached an all-time high in many other countries. If we compare Bitcoin to the Argentina peso, then they already broke the all-time high and they already now are 170% higher than the last all-time high. So in Argentina, people are hedging all their capital into Bitcoin because of the inflation of their own money, their money is becoming worthless. So they need to hatch into something that is a little bit more stable or even is going to make them a little bit money because of the increasing price of Bitcoin. So if you take a look at this chart, bam, you can see that Bitcoin is already up 170% against Argentina peso if we are taking a look at the last all time high. The same we can say for the Turkish Lira, we are already 20% up if we compare Bitcoin to the Turkish Lira and the last all-time high. Also, if we take a look at the Brazilian Real, we see the same. We are 5% up from the old all-time high if we look at Bitcoin versus the Brazilian Real. Now, on the other side, if we look to Bitcoin against the dollar, guys, we can see we are still 37% below the last all-time high. So that's a huge difference. We are 37% below the last all-time high. Argentina is 170% above the last all-time high. This is the difference in Bitcoin. This is the difference that is created by need.
we in the Western countries don't have the need yet to hedge into Bitcoin because we still believe that the euro and the dollar is a safe haven. Countries like Argentina, Venezuela, Brazil, Turkey, these countries, these people in these countries need to be afraid. They need to protect their capital. And the only way for them to protect capital is to hedge into something else that is more stable than their currency. So for example, gold or Bitcoin. And I think in the future, those people are going to use Bitcoin more often than they are going to use gold. Because why would you still want to hedge into gold? Where do you even buy physical gold? How do you storage physical gold? And how do you take physical gold with you if you go to another beautiful country where, for example, the political situation is more stable? I don't see people doing it with gold bars. I see people in the future that want to flee their unstable country using a currency like Bitcoin because that makes it simple for those people to take their capital, their wealth out of that country. You are not going to travel across the border or in an airplane with six kilos of gold. They are going to stop you at the border. They are going to confiscate your gold and you're bankrupt and you can stay in that country forever. So this is a reason. These are the fundamentals behind Bitcoin that is even making it possible for all these wealthy people in unstable countries to now have an opportunity to hatch their wealth into something that looks like gold, but is way more better and way more easy to take with you to another country so you can protect your wealth. This is also the power of Bitcoin. And let's take a look into the far future because we will see this huge bull run. But what are you going to do after this bull run? What are you going to do with all these profits you're going to make with this bull run? You are probably going to stake them because if you make one million dollar during this next bull run, just saying a number. If you're going to make this $1 million during this next bull run, you will be there with $1 million worth of Bitcoin. Then you will probably be a believer in Bitcoin because it created this wealth for you. Then you are going to use your Bitcoin and stake them in some kind of a platform that is going to pay you a very stable interest on a yearly basis and probably going to pay you weekly so you can stake even more every week. So the end result in the year will be much higher percentage wise than the banks or our other centralized organizations are going to offer you. And as I have been speaking a lot about staking guys, there is one more project I want you to take a look at because staking might evolve as well to this next step. Staking now means that you're going to send your Bitcoin to a custodial service and they are going to hold your Bitcoins in their wallet and they are going to pay your interest into your wallet. But this means that the moment you send your Bitcoins into this custodial wallet, you lose the control on your private keys because it's not your keys anymore. So it's not your Bitcoins at that moment. It's comparable to the banks. If you deposit your money into a bank in the small letters, is stated that you just lended your money to the bank and the money is not yours anymore. This is the same with these staking platforms. You stake your money there, so you hold it in their wallets. And if they go bankrupt, your Bitcoins are gone. Not your keys, not your Bitcoins. But this is now going to change in the near future because the staking industry is evolving and Qtum, which is also a competitor of Ethereum, is going to launch one of these staking mechanisms which they call offline staking, which means you can stake your Bitcoins while you still have full control on your private keys because you're using your own wallet to stake your cryptos. So I am going to dig deeper into this project because I want to research what is possible. I already read that it is possible to be completely become your own bank. Like we say in crypto, this is the goal to become your own bank. And Qtum is going to make this possible because I read that it's not only possible to use this to stake your Bitcoins in your own wallet, but they will also enable you to offer this service to your friends and family. So you're becoming a real bank where you can stake your own money, but can also offer the service 
to your friends and family. So I think it's going to be a really cool next step in this whole staking industry. If you want, do your research, look at Qtum or what they are going to build. I am going to buy some Qtum because I think this could be really huge in the future. That was the video for today's guys. Yes, a short one because I'm going to the beach and I will include this beautiful beach video uh, into my tomorrow's video. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video we make. And please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. Yesterday there was a comment, Didi, what are you going to do when you reach 10k followers? I don't know yet. Maybe you guys have an idea. You guys suggest to me what I should do when we reach 10k followers on our YouTube channel. And of course, going to end the video with, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.